Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. And uh, before I go any further, I want you guys to please watch the duration of this video, like full duration of it, because this is a giveaway announcement, but this giveaway is gonna be a little bit more uh, complex. My hair looks horrible. I, but, but this is going to be a different giveaway than the ones I've done in the past. Uh, it's not gonna be a hard to enter necessarily, but it does take a little bit of extra effort. Um, and because of that, it's just a little bit more complex to set up. But there is going to be a giveaway. Now, the main prize as of right now is going to be a custom Bulbasaur. Everyone went nuts over uh, Cherise from Homespun Geeks, her Halloween Bulbasaur. I'm making a Christmas version. Uh, I'm currently making it. Whatever picture you're seeing right here now is whatever state this thing is in by the time I'm editing this video. Okay? It's not done yet. Nowhere near. It's about halfway, I would say, done, probably by the time you guys are seeing this. So there's gonna be more added to it. But as of right now, that's the main prize. Now there will, now there's also two mystery prizes that has been donated to this giveaway. I'm not gonna say, uh, I'll say who it is. It was Giggle Gal, my, uh, who I opened a package for a few uh, videos ago. Um, she's donated a few uh, items to this, but I'm not gonna say what they are. Uh, but I will say more prizes will be added, hopefully. Here's what I mean by that. So about a year ago, I asked people to enter a giveaway by going to check out a GoFundMe account that was set up by my friend's nerd crew when their dog was very, very ill. Problem was, I wasn't even asking people to donate to the GoFundMe account. I was just asking people to look, get a screenshot, send it back to me and they were entered and I got maybe about seven entries when I usually get about 30 or so on my giveaways entries um, in fact most of the entries came in during the live stream that I was giving the prizes away um, and that's wh why I said there could be more added to this so here's what's gonna happen we're gonna do another charity event for Christmas and that's why I'm doing starting this in November so you guys can have all of November to donate to these causes there's gonna be two charities that I'm going to name and if you guys donate to them I'm gonna say how you can donate to them and what it will mean with you with this giveaway in a second <clears throat> but basically however many people donate how many prizes will be added and again I'll go go more about that in a second so the first charity is Toys for Tots. I mentioned Toys for Tots last year in a video. Um, Toys for Tots just doesn't get as much donations due to Toys R Us being out of business anymore because Toys, Toys R Us was a huge way of people to go shopping for their kids, pick up a random toy, put it in the bin on the way out, boom, you donate it. It was very easy for people to donate, uh, but nowadays, not so... I mean, it's still easy for people to donate, but maybe not as widespread as it used to be. So here's what you're gonna do. I'm going to link you to Toys for, for Tots website. If you donate to them monetarily, you take a screenshot of your thank you note that you'll get after you get the donation. Scribble out all your information. I obviously don't need to know any of that. Just scribble out, you know, your name, your anything personal items or things that come up scribble them out send the screenshot to me on my instagram at funko pops and unicorns with underscores in between each word or email it to me with uh, at uh, funko pops and unicorns at gmail.com along with your youtube name make sure all the time you're entering this giveaway make sure to put your youtube name so i know who the hell you are okay if you donate one dollar it'll be one entry if you donate three dollars it'll be three entries into this giveaway I'm gonna do that with a maximum of five you can donate 10 15 whatever but I'm capping it off at five so you can get five entries into this giveaway just by donating five dollars for toys for dots if you go out and buy five toys and put into a toys for tots bin at a local store then you get another five points again one toy equals one entry I keep saying points <laughs> One toy equals one entry, four toys equals four entries, five. Again, yeah, I'm capping it off at five, just to make the math easier for me who sucks at math, okay? 
so that's the way you donate for Toys for Tots. And uh, take a picture of yourself. If you're camera shy, you don't even have to take a picture of your face. Just a picture of your hand putting the toy or toys into the bin and send them to me. That's all you gotta do. And you're entered along with your YouTube name. Make sure to put in your YouTube name. The third or the second giveaway and the third way to entry is through donating to an organization called Organization Christmas Child. I think I'm saying it right. If I'm not, I'm correcting myself down here. But it's an organization that Gilgal actually told me about. And apparently you pack up a shoebox. Take a shoebox that's just lying around your ha house or a shoe, or I guess a shoebox shaped box. You fill it up with, you know, maybe one large toy, a couple small toys, some hygiene pro products, personal hygiene products, and some school supplies. And it gets shipped off to a child in a third world country. You can make a box for a boy or for a girl. And if you guys do one shoe box, you get five entries. Because that one's a little bit more involved. Because, you know, you have to go out and shopping for a bit more. You have to print a label that actually is $9 to pr print. I understand that's a little bit much. But when you think about the charity it's going to, it's worth it. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, obviously these charities are for kids during the Christmas time. Everyone knows that, right? It doesn't matter what your views of Christmas or of Christian because the uh, Christmas Child is a Christian organization. It really doesn't matter what your views are about that. It's just about giving a kid who may not have an opportunity to smile a lot, give them an opportunity to smile, give them an opportunity to just have fun and be a kid for a day. And to me, that's part of what Christmas is all about. Having Christmas joy and laughter and just letting a kid be happy for a day. I mean, come on. So, again, again, take a take a picture of the shoebox after you get it all packed up. You know, you know, open shoebox, show all the products, send it to me, again, with your YouTube, YouTube name, and uh, you'll be entered. Now, winners will be drawn on a li live stream probably within the first week of December. I will put videos and stuff out announcing this stuff later. But as of right now, as of the day this video goes live, entries are open. Now, Toys for Tots gets picked up on this date. I'll look it up. So that's the last day you can, so it's definitely gonna be after that date, okay? I think, I think usually it's like early no December, I think. Maybe it's late November, I can't remember. And the shoebox donation and you can actually donate only one week late November and that's this week you can go to go to their website put in your uh, zip code and it'll show you all the drop-off locations in your area okay and again just a picture of the shoebox donate it and you're good now okay <clears throat> so what I meant by could be more prizes added Again, last year, I didn't get that many entries for a charitable themed giveaway, pretty much. So what I'm going to do to try to entice people <laughs> to do it, if we get, no, no even if only one person enters, that Bulbasaur is getting give, given away to that one person, okay? If we get 35 individual people, not individual <laughs> entries, like if you do, if you do the toy donation thing and the shoebox thing and you have five, 10 entries into this giveaway, that doesn't count, count as 10 individual entries. 30, so, so 35 individual people have to participate in this giveaway and two more pops will be added and, go, and therefore there will be three winners along with the two mystery items that I'll announce later on after I re figure out how many people are going to be in the giveaway. We'll decide that a little bit later uh, but uh, one is going to be the glittered Mickey I might put some metallic on him too the holiday Mickey that just came out and all, also a metallic and glittered flaky the snowman from the fantastic plastic line of Funko okay all done by me if again that won't be d done unless we get 35 if we by some miracle get 50 I will donate a pop that as of yesterday when I checked on it was worth $75 in the Funko app. 
It's something from my personal collection that I was not planning on getting rid of before <laughs> deciding on this uh, giveaway. But I feel like it's worth it if we can get people to go. I'm not going to say which pop it is. If we get 50, then I will. Until then, I'm not going to gonna say it and if we don't reach 50 and we end up get having you know even just 49 if we go to 49 I'm still not gonna do it and on the live stream I'll show what pop it is even if we don't get to it to hopefully entice people to do better next year because I YouTube willing I'm gonna be do, doing this next year hopefully but here's the so updates will come throughout the month I will tell you guys about how many people have entered uh, yeah, what your chances are so far pretty much <laughs> I will when I get the Bulbasaur completely done I'll do a video when I get both Flaky's already done when I get Flaky and Mickey already done I'll make a video of it uh, and anything else that comes up again I will make a video uh, announcing the uh, giveaway the date of the giveaway I will also I'm not gonna film my shelf making the monetary donation because like compromise my uh, identity security but but I will show myself dropping off the toys for toys for tots this year and that'll be its own separate video as well as making the sh shoe box up and putting it all together so I don't know if I'll show like vlog it in, in the store or whatever um I might it just depends on what the mood is and how shy I'm being that day but uh so all this is going to be in the description with links to Toys for Tots uh, and uh, Organization Child Christmas or Christmas. I keep getting it confused. Is it Christmas Child? I think it's Christmas Child. But, but up to five points for donating monetarily to Toys for Tots. Up to five to points. I keep saying points. Entries for a toy donation to Toys for Tots. And a five entries for the shoebox. So you have a total of 15 entries that you could do for this giveaway i'm gonna be doing it on the wheel again live i don't know whether you'll have to be present or not to uh win this yet it just depends you guys can tell how serious i am because i actually kind of sort of almost wrote a script for this one <laughs> i don't do that you it's not a script it's just stuff i need to remember but <laughs> but so turn on your notifications because again the update videos will come i'll probably put anything related to this uh giveaway tomorrow's friday that's when this is coming up november 1st uh and it's a friday and i usually don't post on fridays so any updates will probably be on my off days so monday wednesday or friday so turn on your notifications make sure they're working and that way you can get all the information going on here so again take a picture of your screenshot when you donate monetary Charlie, scribble out all your personal information. I do not need that. I just need the confirmation that you guys actually donated. Take a picture of yourself or at least your hand <laughs> donating toys in a Toys for Tots bin. And finally, take a picture of your shoebox once you get it all fully packed. And uh, you'll be good to go. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can spread a little Christmas cheer this year and uh, have some fun doing it too. So... I don't ask people to share videos very often, but please share this one and get the word out there that this is going on. And uh, hopefully we can give at least a few kids a good Christmas this year. So remember guys, it's not just a Funko community. We're all a community. So let's do some good this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.